Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we get, we're going to commence hydroponic product reviews to help you on your journey into hydroponics. We're going to be starting small with the IKEA floor. Let's hope you can give it a floor. So I parted with two pounds and purchased the IKEA floor. To give you some perspective on the size, it's about a third of the size of a normal growing tray. And it comes with two pieces of sellotape either side that have to be removed and an annoying label which I won't make you watch through all of that. So once the label's off there's one see-through growing tray, three packets of cress seeds and one growing base with some usual IKEA vague instructions. So instruction one is place growing tray inside. Instruction two, sprinkle seeds. I'll give these a, a even out later. Instruction three is add water. I'll add it to the end. And then we'll actually cover it for three days. You can probably grow microgreens in this and as for hydroponics it comes with no other nutrients but this is only cress and should grow within seven to ten days. After three days under cover about 85% of the cress have germinated with some quite strong roots, strong roots underneath and now ready for some sunlight if that's possible in England. After 10 days, growing cress in the IKEA floor. But does it make you go floor? If you do buy cress, this comes in a single use plastic container, so the floor is better for the environment as long as re you reuse it. But at only £2 it is good value, but can easily be re replicated with items lying around the home. Time to enjoy my egg and cress sandwiches. 